Good Thursday evening, Southeast Texas, and happy Veterans Day. We're expecting a chilly start Friday morning and a high of 76, lots of sun. Cold front coming in late Friday will open the door to a chilly weekend. Dry weather is expected, chilly mornings, and cool to mild afternoons through the weekend. Another cold front comes in Sunday night. That will continue our dry weather. Lows will be in the 50s, highs in the mid-70s. Higher moisture levels, chance of showers returns Thursday. We may get close to 80 Wednesday and Thursday ahead of Thursday night's cold front. That's the plan right now. The cold front that brought us the stormy weather this morning has moved off to the south and east, and now cold high pressure building on in with clear skies across the board as a much drier air mass filtering on into southeast Texas. Again, here's your legend. When you see the greens, yellows, and oranges, that tells us that the atmosphere is moist. We have gone all the way down uh, to the browns and tans on the legend, so that's telling us a much drier air mass is filtering on in. This is due to the latest trough of low pressure bringing us this latest cold front. Another trough will pivot around the low, bringing us another cold front coming up this time tomorrow night. A th another cold front will then move through the Midwest and likely move through our area coming up late Sunday. It's not going to be a real strong one. It'll just try bring us dry weather, a continuation of the dry weather uh, through the first half of next week. Tonight, looking at chilly night across the area, a lot of us are going to be in the 40s tomorrow morning when you wake up uh, as temperatures likely to drop in the mid 40s maybe from Hardin County northwards up towards the lakes area and into the low to mid 50s here in the triangle. After a chilly start, lots of sun. We should rise into the low to mid 70s across the area. On the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 3 feet in your coastal marine forecast tomorrow. We'll see easterly winds at 10 to 15 knots, water temperature 68. So tonight, clear skies, a chilly dry night as winds go calm. Lows really from about Lumberton, Sour Lake, Vider northwards will be in the 40s, low to mid 50s from Beaumont towards Port Arthur. Tomorrow, just a beautiful day. Oh, I wish I could keep this and use it up maybe in the middle of next summer. Boy, wouldn't that be nice. Just a fantastic afternoon with low humidity. So our next cold front coming in tomorrow night is coming in on a dry note. May not even see any clouds with it. It's just basically going to be a wind shift, and that will bring high pressure and chilly mornings coming up this weekend. Sunday morning could see upper 30s in the lakes area. Possibility of some patchy frost. Still very close. Mid 60s for highs Saturday, so cool day. Sunday we're at to 73, so a mild day. Another cold front coming in on Sunday night. This is a weak one, but it'll bring us a dry weather pattern through early next week with lows in the 50s, highs in the 70s, lots of sun. Wednesday, we get more of a suddenly wind off the Gulf of Mexico. That could boost high temperatures close to 80. It'll also bring the muggies back in ahead of Thursday night's cold front. We'll give it a 20% coverage at this uh, far juncture. Uh, I may have to increase those rain chances, but we've got seven days to figure it out. Otherwise, it looks fantastic the next five days with little, if any, cloud cover, chilly nights and warm afternoons. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.